Welcome to this overview for the Medic Modules EKG, that stands for Electrocardiogram. I'm going to go through the features of the module using various sequences and patches and explain along the way. Okay, so we're going to look at the features and start building up a sequence. I've got the output of the EKG going into an attenuator first, which is giving me two octaves of range into a quantizer. Moving the range selector on the EKG, we can get a much wider range. This is a really nice addition as it makes it a lot easier to scale things across a patch. Using the manual step button on the EKG, I'm going to step through each of the eight steps and just create a sequence. And here's a clock just to get that moving. So I've also got this sound going into a high pass filter. And if I swap the CV output cable to one of these analog solution splitter cables, I can take one of these into my quantizer for the pitch and also one into the filter CV. Using the gate output we can start to use some of the additional features with the mode knobs. I've got the high pass modulated from the sequencer. This is also going through in series to a low pass filter and I'm going to use the gate output on the EKG to trigger an envelope and modulate the low pass filter with it. For now the modes are all set to 2 on each step which plays each step one time. Moving every other step to mode 1 it will mute the gate output. Going on to mode 7 at step 8 we can get some reverse sequencing as well. So here I've got a sequence running which is quantized and then going to a wavetable oscillator. Using the analog solution splitter cable again, I'm going to send this sequence to modulate the wavetable as well as the pitch. Using the gate output on the sequencer, I'm going to use the gate in on the oscillator for hard sync to reset these waveforms. And then if I add this yellow stackable to the halftime input, I've got this connected to a pressure point so I can actually play this halftime input live along with the patch. This sequence is moving the oscillator's pitch again and I'm using the gate to trigger an envelope which is moving a filter and I'm also hitting the reset on the oscillator. I'm going to look at turning off the gate on this sequence. Mode 1 doesn't send a gate out for that step so we can start to get more dynamic sequencing with a pitch sequence running on all 8 steps and gates only coming out of certain steps. The reverse mode will reverse from any step, so here it is at step 8. Here's reversing from step 2. Here's a reverse from step 4. And then step 6. As before we can still mute and turn off the gate both forwards and backwards. 
The reset mode, which is mode 8 on the knob, will immediately step back to 1. So having step 5 on the sequence set to mode 8, we'll actually get a 4 step sequence. Here I look at some of the repeat functions. All 8 steps in this sequence are just moving once. You can repeat twice, 3 times or 4 times using modes 3, 4 and 5 on the mode knobs under each step. So here's some repeats within this sequence. We can fully skip a step from the gear and the pitch sequence entirely missing that step using mode 6. And as we have done before we can set a reverse point on mode 7. Here are all the notes repeating twice. Here's 4 repeats on step 4 and skipping step 5 entirely. And it's really easy to set these and jam along with a sequence. Uh, the module's laid out perfectly for getting in and jamming along. For the final patch I'm going to use a sequencer of an audio rate square wave going into the clock input to turn the EKG into an oscillator. The clock input will track the pitch of the square wave that's coming in and any pitch movement that's going to the oscillator providing the square will come through to the EKG. And if we think of these sliders as pulse width control, if we have steps 1 and 4 all the way up and steps 5 through to 8 all the way down this will create a square wave. <laughs> We can turn certain sliders up and down to create pulse whip style effects. Using steps 1 and 2 and 6 and 7 up and the rest down we get an octave up style effect, a double rate square wave. It doesn't just have to be standard square waves, any of these settings you can play around with and create a custom stepped wave form. Here I'll add a sample and hold to the oscillator that's providing the clock for the EKG and I'll play around with the sliders and create some custom wave shapes. And as we've got this half tempo input, that's going to act as a half frequency input giving us an octave down effect and we can play around with this as well. So we've eight different modes that can be different on each of the eight steps in the sequence so we can start to build up some quite clever sequences and it really lends itself to getting yourself in there and jamming. Head to medicmodules.com for more information on the module and the rest of the range and head to youtube.com forward slash divkidvideo for more modular videos from me.